coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, DJI introduces Inspire 3 Cinema Drone. Eruption of Russian volcano threatens EU flights. AEA new product introductions to be livecast April 24 through 26. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. DJI introduces Inspire 3 Cinema Drone. DJI has debuted its Inspire 3 model, a full frame 8K Cinema Drone. The Inspire 3 features a sleek integrated design, a 160 degree field of view, night vision first person view, and DJI's O3 Pro transmission and control system that supports a dual control mode in which one operator can manage the drone's camera exclusively, while a second operator pilots the contraption via a front facing FPV camera. The Inspire 3's video stream is transmitted via the latest iteration of DJI's proprietary OcuSync tech, the O3 Pro, which facilitates streaming 1080p at 60 frames per second at ranges of up to 8 nautical miles. Unique to the Inspire 3 is a secondary ability to stream 4K at 30 frames per second at a 2.7 nautical mile range. The Inspire 3's Zenmuse X9 8K Air Main Cinematic Camera is the lightest full-frame system yet developed and makes use of Cinecore 3.0, DJI's new image processing system. The Zenmuse X9 8K supports 8K Cinema Digital Negative Video Recording at 25 frames per second. The Inspire 3 supports interchangeable lenses. DJI's current lineup of Inspire 3 compatible DL mount lenses includes telephoto and full frames available in 18mm f2.8, 24mm, 35mm, and 50mm options. In addition to the DL lens mounting system, an integrated aerial lens mount that allows rapid switching between primary lenses, the Inspire 3 features an option to support Sony E-mount lenses. And coming up after the break, Sikorsky protest of Bell's U.S. Army contract denied. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Sikorsky protest of Bell U.S. Army contract denied. Sikorsky's protest of the awarding of the U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft contract to rival Bell helicopters has been denied by the U.S. Government Accountability Office. The dispute's resolution affords Bell opportunity to get the program worth a potential $7 billion underway. In its decision, the GAO set forth, quote, In denying the protest, GAO concluded that the Army reasonably evaluated Sikorsky's proposal as technically unacceptable because Sikorsky failed to provide the level of architectural detail required by the RFP, end quote. FlexJet scraps IPO plans. In October 2022, private jet flight provider FlexJet announced plans for an IPO of stock through billionaire Todd Bowley's Horizon Acquisition Corporation II. On April 12th, the company reversed course, stating it would remain privately held by its current owner, aviation investment firm Directional Aviation. In a press release, FlexJet chairman Ken Ritchie set forth, quote, Because we have been dedicated stewards of our capital, there will be no impact on the growth initiatives we have launched during the past several years, which remain full steam ahead, end quote. U.S. Judge Awards BOC Aviation $406 million. 
A U.S. judge ordered Airbridge Cargo Airlines LLC and its parent company, Folga Nepper Logistics BV, to pay lesser BOC Aviation Limited $406 million after the former were declared in default on the leases of three Boeing 747A freighters. The U.S. District Judge found in favor of BOC Aviation despite the defendant company's inability to operate the least 747s following Russia's move against Ukraine and subsequent international sanctions, which prohibited Western aircraft OEMs and lessers from delivering aircraft, aircraft parts, or aircraft technical support to Russian airlines and private owners of Western aircraft. GDIT awarded $1.7 billion flight school support contract. General Dynamics Information Technology has been awarded the Flight School Training Support Services contract to support the U.S. Army Aviation Center of Excellence. The $1.7 billion contract, managed by the U.S. Army Program Executive Office for Simulation, Training, and Instrumentation, comprises a five-year base period and seven option years. The U.S. Army Aviation Center of Excellence leads the Flight School 21 program, the primary training program for all U.S. Army Rotary Wing aviators at Alabama's Fort Rucker. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Eruption of Russian volcano threatens EU flights. The eruption of Russia's Mount Shivaluch, one of the vast nation's most active volcanoes, has prompted the Kamchatka Volcanic Eruption Response Team to issue a code red warning to flights operating within a 100,000 kilometer area surrounding the mountain. The warning states in part, quote, ongoing activity could affect international and low flying aircraft, end quote. Located in Russia's remote Far East on the immense Kamchatka Peninsula, the Shivaluch volcano erupted just after midnight Kamchatka time on Tuesday, April 11, 2023, reaching its climax six hours later. The eruption sent a colossal cloud of ultra-fine volcanic ash 12.5 miles into the overlying stratosphere. Presently, fallout from the ash cloud covers some 67,100 square miles. Villages have been carpeted in drifts of gray ash up to four inches deep, the deepest in 60 years. Lava flow continues to pour down the volcano slopes, melting snowpack and prompting mud flow warnings. The incident has occasioned concerns pertaining to both the immediate safety of commercial flights in the region and the long-term impact the eruption may have on global flight routes. In April 2010, a sprawling ash cloud resulted of the eruption of Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull volcano covered northern Europe, grounding thousands of flights as countries imposed extensive airspace closures. The week-long airspace closure saw the cancellations of over 95,000 flights. And after these messages, AEA new product introductions to be live cast April 24th through 26th. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. AEA new product introductions and more to be livecast April 24th through 26th. Shortly after the ANN and Airborne Live crews flooded the aviation world with over two dozen major news announcements at the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo with the Sun and Fun Innovation Preview, we are getting ready to shake up the avionics world for the 15th year in a row with over 30 new product introductions as part of our valued partnership with the Aircraft Electronics Association. From April 24th through the 26th, ANN will be live casting at least a dozen hours of live avionics news and information from the floors of the AEA Convention and Trade Show in Orlando, Florida. The excitement starts on day one, April 24th at 8.30 ET, and the opening sessions of the show, followed by the ever-exciting NPI presentations, which should be done by shortly after noon. Several hours of in-depth live interviews are scheduled from the convention floor on day two and three, with the Tuesday programming starting at 1300 Eastern and Wednesday starting at 1100 Eastern. All of our live programs can be found at airborne-live.net. We look forward to showing you the latest new avionics innovations from AEA 23. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.